it was uh, a bit difficult for me when I uh, got uh, when I uh, you know landed in Boston for a period of one month. I guess uh, I was uh, not used to staying away from home. I, I felt homesick. So I felt uh, I felt drifting back to India in December. But after one month, like, the main problem was coming at cooking for me because I I, I don't have any experience of and uh, USA is a great a great place for students. Uh, it's, uh, it's very helpful. You have all those amenities that you don't you don't uh, you don't have any such sort of thing that you can't get in here. There are Indian stores in here and there are some Indian supermarkets. Uh, and uh, you know everything. So uh, right now I don't feel any homesick. Uh, I'm, I'm doing great in that aspect. So in our home country in India, everything is pretty relaxed and all the amenities like you, it's a cars and renting houses and everything is very cheap compared to what it is here in Boston. So initially everything feels like. Everything you do in Boston feels very expensive. Like if you go out for a meal and you go with your Indian mentality, so you're always calculated. Like oh my god, if if you spend ten bucks on a meal, you'll be like oh my god, I just spent seven hundred bucks on a burrito. But as as time goes on and you stop comparing the costs and you start accepting the fact that okay, this is what the usual cost is and it's not burning a hole in my pocket. and it's for my stomach so just stop calculating that i would say the climate here is much more uh, nicer than in india especially from where i am yeah so the main differences would be one would be the weather and then other would be managing your expenses it takes you a month or something but then you kind of settle in uh, when i used to be in the home country uh, uh, you know things come to your place so you don't you you, you especially uh, you have some maids to do your work and stuff but not it's not in here you need to do your own stuff like you need to manage uh, like in the day if you want to study uh, apart from studying you also need to keep your room clean and uh, you know uh, do it in every stuff uh, you need to do your own laundry no one is going to come to take your clothes so there are some differences in here but uh, Uh, the living independently is one aspect that the student needs to focus on to get along and cope up with uh, with his academics. So instead of all this, you need to go to your lab and do your thesis work, and you need to attend classes. You need to participate in some project works. So you know, uh, uh, you don't know when a day passes because you have all these works and your your schedule will be tightly packed up. But you can you can take some day, a day off and on weekends uh, just to you know uh, gather more energy for the next week and get on with your academics and and the pursuit of your degree and uh, uh, job and internships.